Okay, so our goal is to simplify this expression. And the way I'm going to think about this, and I'll show it in two ways. Uh, first of all, we have 40 and 10x in the numerator. So I think of that as one um, group of terms. We're dividing all of that by 5. So I have seen a, uh, a version of this explain that you're distributing division, right? We're dividing the 40 by 5 and the 10x by 5 over addition. Right, we're dividing both the terms, or any number of terms, if there are three terms up here, like plus, I don't know, uh, 30y, we would divide that by 5 too. Any number of terms in the numerator, we need to divide uh, by the value in the denominator. And what that ends up looking like in this case is 40 divided by 5 is 8, 10 divided by 5 is 2, and that's, well, it's 10x is divided by 5, so it's 2x, and those two terms are added. This is our result. Um, so you can think of it that way. I, I like to think of the fact that, well, this is really just still just distribution by multiplication because dividing by 5 is the same thing as multiplying by 1 fifth. Those are equal things. So if I said 1 fifth times 40 plus 10x, these are equivalent statements, right? Multiplying by a fifth takes whatever you have and makes it five times smaller. So really, um, what I think of is, oh, this is just really distributing with multiplication because a fifth times 40 and a fifth times 10x over addition will get you the same thing. A fifth times 40 is 8, and a fifth of 10x is 2x. So it gets you the same result. And really, this is still distribution of multiplication. It's not some, in my mind at least, uh, a new property per se. Division can always be written as multiplication and vice versa. So this really is a distribution by multiplication problem. All right, thank you.